So we're going to stamp out. For the first time, we're going to stamp out out of South Africa or out of any country for that matter. Got my stamp. Got lots of paperwork. Yeah, I've got a <laughs> lot of paperwork. And yes, a Sisu stamp and also lots of paperwork. So passports, boat papers, everything. We will tell you exactly how you do the stamp out procedure here in South Africa. It's pretty daunting to get out of here. As you can see, we actually in the VNA Marina. And you cannot actually stamp out from here. So the exit point from South Africa, you know, Cape Town, is actually the Yacht Club, uh, Royal Cape, Cape yeah. Yacht Club. But we're now in the marina, so there's a catch. So we will explain to you the catch now. is the Marina Yacht Office. So this is the VNA Marina and the first stop is then here at the Yacht Office. So that's our first stop. Good morning, yes, it's day two now already. <laughs> so one, one tip of advice is don't try to go to the Royal Yacht Club, Royal Cape Yacht Club after two o'clock they just refuse they say it's too close to three o'clock and they are very busy so <laughs> they're not sure with what but at this office we got our uh, letter to say we are cleared out of the vna marina now we need to go try again royal cape yacht okay. club <laughs> to, <number> yeah <laughs> take two um, and see whether we can get our clearance here as well so we need to get to the marinas where we were First a clearance certificate and then we can go to port control. So second step, let's, let's try again. Okay, so the second step, we completed the second step here at Royal Cape Yacht Club. And all that you need here is to get a letter to say your your yacht cannot be hosted here because of a reason i give normally a reason as well so then you can clear out of there otherwise you have to bring your boat here and clear out here so you have to stay the night here and it's very full <laughs> always full okay step three port control we are going to port control and it's raining and it is crazy here in cape town when it's raining So, oh, the third stop, That's number good. three. This big building, this is port control, and you can actually see it from the breaker wall. You can actually see this building from very far. So, if you're calling on your radio on channel 14, these guys is the ones that's looking at you, and I can see everything pretty far. And then you have to ask permission to come into the port um, or buy a boat. But now, if you want to stamp out as well, and stamp in, I think you should stamp in here as well. Then this is the guy that needs to give you a letter so you can take it to customs and immigration. The last point, the fourth point, is customs and immigration. So it's very close to the same port control building that we were just now but we, it is now also next to where the big boats big passenger boats there big passenger boats there's two of them they come here in the background so we need to go to this little office here uh, at our back so we need to come here and we need to get our passports first the boat stamped out and then ourselves so let's go last call been a very painless exercise the whole morning. The only thing that kept us busy was the traffic, and, but the whole process was chop chop done. 
No, there's, no there's two big boats that came in. Passenger liners. Two yeah. big passenger liners and they that just literally just takes out all the parking spots and <laughs> all the traffic lights and that was chaos. But yeah, it was yeah. I mean, it was maybe it was four hours. <laughs> it's still long. <laughs> uh, but the four hours, about two hours was spent in traffic. Yeah, so okay. It's actually good. Okay. We're at a yes.